What's up guys, Beastly Gamer here, welcome to the channel. I want to talk to you guys about Black Ops 3, and I want to talk to you guys specifically about Black Ops 3 on 7th generation consoles, the PS3, Xbox 360. The game came out, uh, it's not doing too well. And I want to show you guys some uh, photo comparisons, side by side, of the last gen versions with the current gen. So there's going to be some PS4 stuff, some PS3 stuff, Xbox 360 versus Xbox One. As you guys can see in the images, it's a pretty big damn difference. Uh, it's kind of a, a huge letdown. I was already let down with the whole premise that they were going to release last gen versions of Call of Duty uh, only as a multiplayer experience with no campaign. Now, I'm almost done with the campaign on the PS4, my wife and I. We're probably, I'd say, 75% through with it, but we kind of backed out and got into multiplayer and has been kind of staying on the multiplayer, but we do have to get back in there and, and finish the campaign. It's not really a bad campaign. It's pretty decent. Uh, I love the fact that you can play with up to three other people, and to me, that's a big draw for the campaign. It's really unfortunate they tone that back on the last gen consoles, but unfortunately, that's not the only thing that's been toned back. As you guys can see, the graphics look pretty dismal on last gen uh, consoles. And on top of that, the frame rate has also taken a hit. The frame rate is not 60 frames per second like it is on current gen, it's only 30. So it's one of the worst Call of Duty experiences you can get on PS3 and the Xbox 360. And it's $10 less than the full uh, game on current gen consoles. So we take that into account. You get a multiplayer experience only that runs at 30 frames per second that looks much, much worse than the current gen consoles. You can even see in some of these pictures, they've taken assets out of the current gen and swapped them out with courier vans. Hey, you can fit two skids inside there. Uh, I don't know what the hell their problem is. This does not look attractive. People obviously don't want to buy this. So a little bit of sales numbers have come out in the UK anyway about Call of Duty how it's selling over there, how well it's done. And apparently only 8%, 8% of Call of Duty Black Ops 3 sales were on last-gen consoles. It's kind of a daunting situation. I really can't wait until the real sales numbers for Call of Duty Black Ops 3 comes out, period. Because right now, it's like a thunderstorm of AAA games. you got Halo 5 competing with Call of Duty, which is competing with Fallout 4, which is about to be competing with Star Wars Battlefront. So it's going to be four AAA games uh, and they're all really in the same genre. I don't think Fallout 4 is really in the same genre. My personal opinion, that game will probably win against the other three. But it's still a really tough time for all these games because there's people out here who can only afford one of them. There's people who are going to pick Halo. There's people who are going to pick Call of Duty. There are people who are going to pick Fallout. And there's going to be people who pick uh, uh, Star Wars Battlefront. So I'm anxious to see the sales in general. But this story is for the UK only. 91% of Call of Duty Black Ops 3 sales in the UK were on Xbox One and PS4. Xbox One and PS4 were the gaming platforms of choice for 91% of UK gamers when it came to Call of Duty Black Ops 3. While the launch of Call of Duty Black Ops 3 may have been FUBAR, it was super popular on Xbox One and PS4 in the UK, with 91% of all physical sales of the latest Call of Duty on current gen consoles. According to UK chart company GFK Chart Track, only 1% of UK gamers purchased Black Ops 3 on PC. 8% on last gen Xbox 360 and PS3, and the rest of them were scooped up for the Xbox One and PS4. The PS4 took the huge 48% chunk, leaving the other 43% for the Xbox One. I think that the last gen version should probably be recalled, honestly. 1% on PC is letting you know that the PC problem is a real issue. Many people, including our good friend Not Too, Not Too Nerdy Entertainment, was in, unable to play on PC when it first launched. Uh, I'm not having really any issues on the PS4. Uh, and uh, Just look at the images. PS3, Xbox 360, I don't even think that should have happened. That was a quick cash grab. It's an unfortunate thing. Uh, the, the thing that blows my mind is developers actually have the balls to release this. They release a game with no campaign that looks like shit. Right? It runs at 30 frames per second, so you're not getting the Twitch gameplay you're used to in Call of Duty. This is like the Call of Duty console equivalent of Black Ops Declassified. It's crap. I don't even think it should exist. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you playing on last-gen consoles? Do you know anybody who's playing on last-gen? Let me know in the comments. Is it worthwhile? Are you guys liking it? Are you taking it back? Hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. If you did, be sure to give a thumbs up. Show support on the channel. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe now. I'm the Beastly Gamer. I'll see you guys next time.